I'm tired of feeling this pressure to constantly improve, to work on myself, to be better, to achieve more, to do more. I think that so many of us are feeling just exhausted from doing, so much doing, and we're just feeling this pull to want to slow it down, to want to reconnect with ourselves, to want to just simply be. I don't know about you, but I am feeling so tired at the moment. I have been feeling so exhausted recently and I've shared a bit about this on my TikTok and I know it's resonated with a lot of people. So I thought I would talk a bit more about this. Why are we feeling so exhausted? Why is everything feeling so much harder at the moment than it used to? I think it's because we're trying to operate in a way that just doesn't work anymore. We're trying to do things in the old way that used to work, being productive, being constantly busy, being stressed, being go, go, go. And I think so many of us are realizing that that just doesn't work and it's just not sustainable. I think we are tired of these old ways that we used to measure success, like through money and through output and through material ideas of success. I think so many people are feeling tired of having to work ourselves into the ground to make ends meet, to make a living, to live in this environment that just doesn't support our well-being. I think that so many people are feeling burnt out from operating in this way for years, for decades for some of us. And I think that we're waking up to the fact that we really need to do things in a new way. And times are changing. We are moving into a new paradigm according to human design, one of the systems that I work with and has completely transformed my life and I've shared a lot about it on here. But we're moving into a new paradigm and in order to create a new world, we have to dismantle the old one. We have to let go of these old systems and structures that just don't work for us anymore and I think that that's why it feels like the world is crumbling at the moment it feels like things are falling apart because they have to they have to fall apart in order to come back together in order to form a new way I think so much action comes out of lack comes out of lack of feeling like we don't have enough resources, whether that be money, I'll get into that in a, in a little bit, but also feeling like a lack of self-worth, feeling like a lack of direction and purpose in life, feeling like we don't know what we even want, feeling unclear, that can be a form of lack. And the thing is, and I've been sitting with this for a while now, is that it's not about doing nothing. I don't think that any of us ever crave to just completely do nothing. Maybe we do for some time, for a short period, to just have like a break, to just completely stop and pause. I talked about this last week, the power of pausing, the power of taking a break and taking a step back. It's not that we don't, don't want to do anything. We love creating things as humans. We love making things. We love pouring our energy and our time and our attention into things that really matter to us and that are really important. I think that it's just become so misaligned, like we have become so disconnected from what that really is, from where we want to put our time, our energy, our attention into. And so we're being consumed by all of the distractions of the world, all of the things that are taking away those precious resources. I think that what we crave is to take action from an inspired place, to take action on things that do excite us, that light us up, that we are really passionate about, that we 
are motivated by the things that really matter to us and I think that that's why so many of us are feeling exhausted is because we're realizing that where we've been placing our attention and our energy is not on what is truly important to us. I think so many of us are feeling disheartened from the state of the world, the atrocities that are happening that are so out of our control or feel so out of our control. I think that so many of us are feeling exhausted by feeling like life is out of our control, like there are so many things out of our hands. I think that we're tired of feeling like we don't have sovereignty or power or authority over our lives. And so I think that the way that we take our power back is by beginning to do things differently, beginning to reimagine this new world that we want to create, beginning to reimagine how we want to spend our time, where we want to place our attention, where we want to pour our energy into, what are the things that are really important? And we have to begin to dismantle these old ways of being. And almost in a way we have to rebel from this old paradigm, this old way of existing, if we want to create a new one. And so what that has looked like for me is taking time out to rest and to reflect and to begin to dream. I have been giving myself permission over the last couple of weeks to dream, to daydream, to take some time to be still and to just think about and feel into how would it feel to do things in my own way? How would it feel to take my power back and to really reimagine how I want to live my life and to go against the grain and to do things in a completely different and unique way? And one of my favorite quotes is the world will tell you that this is important and this is important and this is important and you have to worry about this and this and this, but it's up to us to yank our hand back and put it on our hearts and say, no, this is what's important. And I'll put that quote up on the screen because I've probably said it not quite correctly, but it's really about taking our power back by saying, no, this is what's important to me. And I know that we all have different responsibilities. I know that everyone has different amounts of time, different things that they need to take care of. I know that. I recognize that. And so I think it's just about looking at the smallest ways that we can begin to change our way of being, that we can begin to invite in more stillness, that we can begin to invite in more self-reflection, that we can begin to invite in more presence. Presence is what will allow us to become clear, to be more intentional about where we're spending our resources. And I want to talk about resources just quickly because I think it's so important to this conversation about why we're feeling so tired because I think one of the reasons why so many people are feeling exhausted and myself included is because there is so much pressure to make money. So much of our worries and our stresses and the things that cause us anxiety in some way relate back to money, which relates to our feeling of safety and security, feeling like we have our basic needs taken care of. And I was writing down as I was doing some journaling yesterday about this idea of reimagining my life, reimagining all these different areas of my life and how I actually want to be living, how I actually want to be 
moving through the world and what it is that I truly desire. I just kind of grabbed these different categories of life that you know you can find anywhere. If you look at like the wheel of life in personal development, all these different categories of our lives. And I realized finances being one of these categories. For me, it's things like feeling this feeling of freedom and abundance, feeling supported and taken care of, feeling open to receiving, to being open to having opportunities and abundance and blessings and all of these different things coming to me feeling gratitude feeling grateful and fortunate for what i have dwelling in the frequency of trust and deservingness so all of these things are not tangible mind you because that to me is what's important is these feelings that things like money can create for us. I think so often we think that we need the thing, but it's really the feeling that we want to feel from that thing or what we think that thing will bring us. And I wrote down at the bottom after a bit of reflection, I wrote abundant veggie garden and other resources. And I realized that like one of the reasons why we put so much emphasis on money as a resource is because money can, or we think that money can buy us all these different things that we need. Money can buy us food, money can buy us uh, convenience, money can buy us water, shelter, things for the home, all of these different things that we need to survive. And, you know, as we've been here for the last six months, we've been growing our own vegetables and I've just come to see how easy it is. And, you know, it takes daily commitment. It takes uh, tending each day to the garden. It takes a little bit of time and loving attention to pour into these vegetables that we're growing. But just with the smallest amount of time and attention and love, we've been able to grow an abundant veggie garden. And it's just been so beautiful to see that resources like food can come to us in so many different ways and it's just making me realize that you don't necessarily have to have a lot of money to be able to create your own resources to be able to grow your own food we have water tanks here which obviously you know there's startup costs and all these things involved in living in the country or living off grid but we collect water from the rain like i'm making so many things myself now i'm making i'm about to start baking sourdough bread i'm making just so many things that i wouldn't have done before i'm starting to make myself and it just goes to show that like it's not to say money is a bad thing but one of the reasons i think i've been feeling so tired and exhausted lately is because i have been feeling stressed about money my income has changed dramatically over the last few years since i quit my job to pursue my passions and to really pour all of my time and my energy into what it is that's really important to me and that has really asked me to rethink my relationship with money it's really asked me to rethink how I value myself and my self-worth and I'm only I'm still I'm still learning these lessons I'm still learning that my worth is not tied to the amount of money I make my worth is not tied to any form of measurement if we are measuring anything and tying it to our worth that is an indication that something is not true something is out of alignment. You don't have to do or achieve or become anything in order to be worthy. Just being alive grants you worth. Just being alive and being a human makes you worthy. And I think that that is something that so many of us just cannot see in this current reality that we are living in. And I really hope that that changes. I hope that we begin to see that our worth cannot be tied to anything, anything at all externally. Our worth is right here within. So as we begin to reimagine our lives, to dream and to daydream and to create a vision for a different way of being, a different way of existing, a different way of living, 
can we start to peel back all of those things that are just simply not true all of the layers of conditioning and the beliefs that we've picked up around what it means to be successful what it means to live a fulfilling life what it means to be worthy start to question it and say no that is not what's important to me and it will take time and we have time we can take our time as we begin to dream up a new way of being we can take our time and move slowly into this new paradigm into this new way of being it's okay if you feel exhausted right now i feel exhausted too because the old way just doesn't work anymore and it's time to start to dream up a new way so thank you so much for joining me today i hope that this has been valuable i hope it's got you thinking i hope it's just given you some permission to start to daydream to start to believe that there are other ways of being there are other ways of living that are not based around productivity and constant output and having to become something and having to feel like we're not good enough and like we have to be constantly working on ourselves in order to be worthy and feel like we need fixing you are not something that needs fixing you are perfectly worthy and loved as you are so i'm sending you all of my love and i look forward to seeing you again soon take care go gently and allow yourself to dream to daydream i think that is one of the lost arts you know can we reconnect with that inner child within us that would daydream this was something I was told as a child that I would get so easily distracted and that I would daydream way too much and I'm beginning to reconnect with the joy of just dreaming and imagining new possibilities. So sending you all my love. Thanks for being here. Take care. Bye.